Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Well, everybody, a great ACC matchup in store for you today. A couple of high-profile teams, both of them with their eyes on winning the ACC title. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. scenery of Western Virginia surrounds Lane Stadium in Blacksburg. The players have slapped the Hokie Stone and they're ready for this one to get started. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Virginia Tech is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Tackle made at the 26. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. down in the open field so he keeps it and he gets a big first down the quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch he saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game we've got a first and 10 ball on the 37 yard line tackled after decent pickup that'll bring up second and three He gets out to about the 45-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Here he goes. He's at the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at the 38. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. First and ten, ball on the 38. Three yards there on the option keeper. tailback he's at the 20 to the 10 and they finally make the stop at the one yard line that makes it first and goal it's first down so inside the five with a first and goal And he hits the PAT. 
Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. The Bears, they know how demoralizing turnovers can be. This team strikes first with a pick six. Baylor leads it 7-0. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Hodges has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. Virginia Tech's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. Loss of about three on the toss play. That brings up third and ten. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. Good possession there for the defense. That makes it fourth and four. Williams is the punter. He's at the 40. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown! Huge play! How exciting is that? Credit to blocking here. They created a big enough lane for him to run through, and as they say, the rest is history. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second corner. Glover will try the right side. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. No game. That makes it second and 10. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Here we go. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. You know, the great thing about a screen pass is, once it's executed, is to watch the linemen get downfield and have a chance to show their athletic ability in the open field. These guys are close to 300 pounds, some cases over 300 pounds, and here they are in the open field trying to block a guy that weighs 180 pounds or 190 pounds. And when it hits a big one, there's nothing better than watching those linemen be able to make a big play 10 or 15 or 20 yards downfield trying to open it up. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Opening. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. That's it for one, and we might have the upset of the week on our hands. Boston College is in front by 14. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check him. Check him. Ready. 
Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 36. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. From the 36-yard line, first down. Tackle right around the 38-yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Over the middle to his tailback. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it fourth and ten. Rodgers back to return, and he's already proven he can break these with a block or two. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Caught with room to work. He's tackled at the 37. That's a team of 17 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. the run they go to the left for a nice game that'll make it second and four big opening and he's tackled around the 44 yard line first down from the 44-yard line. First down. Ready. He gets rid of this one. Now and they need to get it down to the 34. Quick out to his receiver, and he's taken down around the 26 yard line. First down. Boston College just took their first time out. Here's the eighth play of the series. Roger, Roger. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws this one out to the left. Almost picked off. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Inside the 10. Touchdown, BC. Yeah. 
And he converts the extra point. Hodges ready to kick. Gathered in at the six. They'll bring him down at the 22. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And down he goes at the 31. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Makes it out to about the 43. receiver a little too much juice on that one and this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it he's got to relax and just make a good throw so it's second and ten ball on their own 43 five wide he's gonna try and scramble tries to get around the corner he's taken down at the 47 yard line Bring him down at the 44. The Hokies use their second timeout. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Excellent open field tackle. Jefferson makes the set to the 35 yard line. Easy, easy, easy. Eagle! He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle made at about the 31. He launches one for the end zone. Can't connect. Number 18 was the intended receiver on the play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Very good tackle in space. to scramble, but he's sacked. Loss of six yards on the play. He's, 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 he's in the Delta! Delta! Let's go! 59, Philly! Now he's scrambling. He might have a chance. He's pushed out of bounds at the three. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. The Eagles with a three-touchdown advantage. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. You can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up 
good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle made at the 41. Boston College is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He scrambles. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Brought down at the 42. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42. Here he goes. Taken down at the 17. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. Two times, two times. They fail down here the last two times. Gets to about the 14 yard line. From the 14 yard line, it's second down. Just throws this one away. receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. It's first down, and they come to the line with a first and goal. Tackle at about the three-yard line. That brings up second and goal. Safety scoops it out. Great example of an opportunistic defense coming up with the fumble. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Taken down for a loss. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 18. Got a man, watch out here. And they make the stop at the 25. Gaston with the tackle at the 25 yard line. That'll, That'll make, make it 35. 35. Larry, Larry. Up. Get get Three, two, Screen pass incomplete. So that'll make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Wesley, back deep to return. Yeah. 
He's taken down at the 48. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Field, and he tackles him hard at the 30. That makes it second and two. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull out there, check down, stop there. Four down, four down. Ready. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Ready. Makes the catch, and look out. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. Back in the red zone again, where their three previous trips resulted in zero points each time. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 15-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 15-yard line, second down. After positive yardage. That's good for the five yards. That'll bring up 32. Hey, we got tied right, tied right. Four down, four down. Check three, check three, check three. Hey, check back 34. Fires it out, and he hits him hard at the six yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Quit just yet. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. And yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. He makes the PAT. Virginia Tech is ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the nine. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. 21-7, Boston College. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Cox gets a ball left side. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Second down at 12. Ball on the 25. Quick throw, and he's taken down around the 27-yard line.
Throws it deep. That's a great tackle at the 28-yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. And that is just inexcusable. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. About five yards and the quarterback keeper. That brings him second and five. to his receiver no good great job by the defense and getting after that quarterback and right now i think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled and they'll look to convert here on another third down first down grab and he is drilled at the 14. first down than three minutes in the game. like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. And he adds the extra point. Boston College kick this one off. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Virginia Tech's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from these guys. We're about set to start things up again. Got it. And he goes down quickly. They've got about two yards to go. A little over a minute in the game. Steps up. He chucks it downfield. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes, right around the 22-yard line. The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly, stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. 
from the 22-yard line. Second down. He heaves it to the end zone. Touchdown, VTech. Tacks on the extra point. It was a five-play, 65-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Virginia Tech's going to take their first time out of the hat. First and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. Under a minute left. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Cox gets six yards on the carry. The Hokies use their second timeout. Nice run up the middle. Good pickup. And with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. Virginia Tech will take their final timeout. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 28-14, Boston College. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Boy, this was a major upset. Virginia Tech was really outplayed in this football game. They came in as huge favorites, a little overconfident, and possibly a little unprepared. But they leave with a bitter taste of defeat. wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.